It's always exciting when UPS drops by a new box at the office, and today UPS dropped by a brand new box. This is the Digital Airless Airtos 120, and we're gonna pop this open and have a, a quick unboxing today. So we'll pull out our world famous Ellen Chrome knife and get into this thing without any hesitation. Now, one of the reasons we're really excited about this particular product is because uh, we have looked at the Digital Airless in the past and we have been part of their development cycle. We're very excited to see what it looks like with all of the new bells and whistles and upgrades on it. So let's have a, a quick look. Well, it comes in a, a great case, as you can see here. So we've got a nice Pelican Storm Series case. Let's dive in. And there we have the new Airtos 120. Now, if you're not familiar with the digital airless drone, this isn't the drone for everybody. This is a, a specialized tool. So when we've moved past those times where we walked into a store and we bought just a regular drone or, or unmanned aircraft or a UA, and we tried to apply it and make it fit into different kinds of holes, basically pounding a, a square peg into a round hole. This is designed specifically for square pegs. So what do I mean by that? Well, a couple of things that makes this particular aircraft very, very unusual is it is designed specifically to fly in GPS denied environments, places such as mines or perhaps insides of buildings or places where we just can't have any uh, GPS at all. We're seeing law enforcement agencies use these inside of buildings, inside of sewer pipes or culverts, and using these as, as means of search and rescue, search and recovery. We're seeing firefighters use these indoors. We're seeing these used heavily in the mining industry uh, and some of the construction industries out there where they're unable to use a drone in normal circumstances. So let's see what all we have here. First of all, there's the drone. Let's just take a quick tour around the drone for those of you who have never seen it before. So first off, First thing you'll notice is right here up on the very top, we have an FPV camera. So this is for the operator to always see where the aircraft is heading in an indoor environment. And then down here, we've got uh, set up a standard camera. And with the uh, lens cap on there, pull that off. Here we have a standard camera on the gimbal with a, a light or a, an illuminator or a light built onto the front of it. Um, the rest of it is pretty well straight fair. You know, you notice that it doesn't have props. This is a ducted type of aircraft. So this flies a little smoother, but one of the things that makes this particularly unusual is you can launch it and land it just by catching it. That's one of the, the ways it works. And of course, without props, it's very safe to do so. But the thing that, that makes this really powerful, we'll dive into this in a different podcast, but what makes this powerful is how intelligent this aircraft is. This aircraft will not fold up against the side of a, a wall the way that most every drone out there you see will do. So for example, with this aircraft, if it's flying along and it, it meets a wall, a typical drone will immediately flip up or flip down or try to roll around. This aircraft will not. It knows the difference between wind resistance and a wall. It's highly intelligent with some very specific algorithms inside of it that allow it to do some things other drones can't do. You can even park this aircraft up on the top of a, a building roof or building ceiling rather, or on the top of a mine and be able to look around. So for inspections, for scaffolding, things like that that go on inside of a mine, this really is ideal. Now, part of that same design is it is designed to bounce off, literally bounce off of walls. So very solid construction. You can see the carbon fiber all the way around. Uh, sensors on the bottom of the aircraft. Um, it's got uh, a battery slide in on side here, power connection onto the other side. But let's keep digging into the box and see what, we, what else we have here. Okay, so uh, other things that we have in here. We have a, a replacement set of ducts in case we need to exchange those out. We have a, a remote. Now, although this does look very much like the, the DJI uh, remote control, and in fact, it, it is a, a DJI remote control, the electronics inside are not DJI. This is an American-made product. So for those of you that are searching out American-made products, the Airtos 120 is, is uh, one of the aircraft you're absolutely gonna want to look at for specific, uh, for specific applications. We've got that there. Uh, let's see what else we have here. 
got a, a charging system for the for the drone. So we've got a, a built-in charger here with the, the D2, which is great. Uh, we've got an accessory box. Gosh, that's pretty tight in there. Let's see if we can pull that carefully out without tearing it all over the place. There we go. And in our accessory box here, uh, we've got some more charging, more charging tools, uh, memory cards, and uh, battery checker, etc. So we've got a few other tools that are here inside. Uh, and we also have a, an iPad and, and lightning cable. So they've set us up pretty well with that. Also inside the box, it comes with its own iPad. So the iPad is included in the system. We've got one, two, and three batteries. So it's pretty well set up. And these are, are great batteries. These are the Tattoo 4500. So those of you who have been involved in the UA industry for a while, you know this brand. This is solid, high quality battery equipment. We dropped our lens cap for the, the unit there. Uh, let's see what else we have. Oh, looks like we've got a, a very handy dandy small multi-tool kit so we've got everything that we might need in the field to set up and repair and of course power cables for our charging system so it looks like this is uh, very complete it's got everything that we need to have built into the kit or the case already so we're going to take the Airtos we'll grab the cable there we're going to take this uh, Airtos and, and charge up some batteries, and the next time you see us, we'll be flying this in the field. So until then, thanks for tuning in and watching.